Let's learn how you can blur a part of a video using CapCut on your iPhone or Android device. So if you need to blur some specific part of a video, whether it's a license plate, a face, some personal information or similar, then watch this video until the very end because we're gonna show you step-by-step -step on how you can do that. The first step that you have to do is to open CapCut and then import the video on which you want to blur a specific part. I have a car video right here and I need to blur these license plates but you can have a video of a person and you need to blur a face or you have to blur some personal information on a document or similar. The process is the same for other videos. Firstly, we will tap on the effects option at the bottom, then select video effects. The next step is to search for the blur effect and you will have a couple of different blur effects from which you can choose from. I can tap on the effect right here and then click on it one more time in order to open this adjust tool. If you need to make your effect stronger or weaker, simply drag this slider to the left or right side. Once you select the blur effect, simply go back to your timeline and then drag this effect which we've added over the whole video. Now let's go to step number two. Click on your video to select it and then find the duplicate or copy option at the bottom, depending on what version of CapCut you have. You have to make a copy of your video and for me, then option is called duplicate. When you copy the video, make sure that it is selected and now find the overlay button and tap on it. This is going to move our video on the bottom track and you want to drag the video right below the first video. Step number three is to create a mask. We can do that by selecting our bottom video, then scroll through this toolbar until you see this mask option. Depending on what we are blurring, we can select a rectangle, a circle, a star or other shapes which we have here but since I have to blur the license plates, I'll select a rectangle shape for my blur. When you do that, find the invert button, which should be at the bottom left corner of the screen. And we have a couple more steps and we're finished. You can drag these arrows in order to resize the part which you need. You can make it smaller or bigger, and I'll just put this blur over the license plates. But if your video moves and you need to make your blur follow the part of the video, then we have to add keyframes. You can see that my license plates are visible because my blur effect isn't following the plates. So all you have to do is to select the mask option one more time, then click on the keyframe option. Go to another part of your video where you have to move your blur effect and simply move it with your fingers. The keyframe will now automatically be added and you need to repeat this step a couple of times if you have to move your blur effect in the other parts of the video. And that's how we can blur a part of a video in CapCut. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.